All right, I got a pretty hot one for you today. You may be familiar with the channel known as Feature Man. It's a very old, like 80-something year old guy who makes videos of him making grilled cheese. We've done the grilled cheese video before where he like makes this burnt grilled cheese and eats it. And uh, he makes videos of him, like the two of him sitting there and like, uh, eating how to how to eat a watermelon, all this all this stuff, and it's usually pretty wholesome, and uh, everyone's always very supportive of his videos. But the story has been coming out; people have been talking about it. How he's got a very dark past, and how he has been. What is it? I think he's been charged with three consecutive life sentences for being a predator, like in the past. But has, what? But is not in jail currently. <laughs> uh, so we're going to look at Mudahar's video. He's been talking about it, and he goes, he's got like a 30-minute video going into more detail about this. We're going to go through it and get the actual details because I haven't watched through the whole thing yet, so I don't know all the details yet. I'm going to learn it along with you, but that's just the basics of what I know from seeing the very beginning of it. It's really it's really any any hope that you have for like humanity. It just dries up every time some stuff like this comes out, but... Let's just get into it. The video here in question is titled My Jailhouse Adventures Recommended for Adults Only. Don't worry, we're not going to watch it. For adults only. I'm already like, ah, <laughs> the oh. feature man. Hang on a minute. This isn't huh. your normal wholesome he, content. What are you? Is he Whoa. featuring some OnlyFans or what is he featuring here? Did he out himself? Is that what happens? No. One of the description pieces for this video, which again, this is a screenshot captured by a community that is actively investigating the situation as well. This is the story about my attempts to change an archaic law in Nevada. All of the actions in this video was something that happened more than 45 years ago. There's a community investigation going on about like what's going on here. They're like people are looking into it because all this apparently is public information, but it's like all very old. And so they're like, you know, the community is digging. So that also opens the door for maybe there's some falsified information and stuff like that. I can't speak on that, but I can, I can just comment on what was here in front of me. And, um, so he made this My Jailhouse Adventures recommended for adults only video that was deleted to clear the air on some stuff, I guess. Uh, it said a recent bit of misinformation has made its way to comment sections of YouTube and other places. So people started talking about it. And so now he's going to address it, I guess, or he did in this video. One of the posts here from eight days ago by a user known as Inquisitive Ferret had wrote, a jury found appellant Tom Will Thomas Willett guilty of three counts of violation of NRS 201-190. What is it? All right, wait, NRS. What is it? NRS. Yeah. All right, so the current is commissions of certain sexual acts in public. Uh, intercourse, fellatio, public category. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, uh, whoa, <laughs> feature man. Oh. Three counts. <laughs> Three accounts and he's guilty. <laughs> Tom Willett is pictured during the last hours of Freedom Wednesday as he enters district court for the inclusion of his trial on three charges stemming from homosexual assault on the residents of Child Haven. Child Haven. Okay. <laughs> All right. Three charges wow. from assaults on residents of Child Haven. Six men and six women deliberated less than an hour Wednesday before finding former juvenile court volunteer worker guilty of three counts of infamous crime against nature stemming from assault on 14-year-old residents of Child Haven. Crimes against nature on 14-year-old residents. Child, what, what is Child Haven like a... Oh, like a center. Like maybe a center or maybe like kids that are, you know, they're trying to find their... You know, what Orphanage, god dang. Uh, you know, I don't know, like... What, what is Child Haven and how did this man get access to it? So the youth who said he had been placed in Child Haven because of the parents' neglect of him testified Willett assaulted him mm. once in his cabin, once in the drive-in movie, and once at their house. So Jeez. Okay, so so it's the same person three times or maybe it's like during the right. like a, a span of time, like during that night or something that's happened three times or something. So three counts. They went to court four years later Jeez. over it. And here they actually mention uh, the boy was... 15 year old. In fact, they use the plural boys in this case because it appears that there was, of course, more than one victim. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Wow. Chris Hansen's out there sweating right now somewhere. Just geez. right. He's just shaking, ready, ready to go. Holy crap. I'm never okay. making that grilled cheese like that again. <laughs> yeah, well, it was burnt and crappy anyway. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to watch the video and we're going to get his his recollection or his story of what happened. These are just small snippets of the entire 19-minute video that he made that's now deleted. About 1977, I uh, became involved with the court system once again. I was arrested. Once again? Well, what happened the first time? Right. And the sentence uh, was 
life Good Lord. in prison. Which, again, I have the entire, like, case over here, Willett versus State. Look at that. I mean, I, 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 Mudahar's like, yeah, he talks about going to... Also got the whole thing right here. <laughs> like, these are the kind of videos I can never make, because, like, I would not even know where to even begin looking. So, th th thank you very much for doing all the work. For you real. Know, <laughs> 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 Hope you don't mind me making a video about it. If you had any sort of sexual contact with anyone other than... Uh, a man and a woman who are married to each other. Anything else was considered an infamous crime against nature. So if it's not not someone who's married, it was huh. a crime against nature. So if you went out and like picked someone at the club and took them back home, that was a crime against nature back in the day. God dang! Wow. Yeah. And it's, I guess that especially if it's someone of the same sex. Right. Well, especially back then, right? Jesus, they freaking. Woo, yeah. Good lord. Life. Without getting into details, I will say that uh, there was a trial, and the. What do you mean without getting into details? Yeah, that's, a, that's what I was thinking. With skipping what it was about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hold, hold on. You, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what do you mean there, buddy? Reading the news clippings, it involves a minor well under the age of eighteen. Well, why not include that into the situation? Again, I can see why you wouldn't get into details. When, you, when you're guilty of something and you don't want people to know about it, but you want to address it in a way that will, you know, maybe get you off the hook here. You, like, yeah, I guess you start omitting things like, yeah, you know, like if it wasn't a, if a, a man <laughs> and a woman married and it was a crime against nature. So anyway, uh, I changed the law. It's like, I, what I want to know is why is he not in jail? How? Yeah, yeah, like exactly. what? Well, they say he like, changed the law or something, or he got the law changed. So let's see. Witness against me, and he was over eighteen years of age. The oh, witness the witness who was over eighteen. Yeah, because it happened four years. Okay, all right. Okay. You'll see that while the case happened in '78, yes, the victim would be eighteen. The crime that the record is actually showing is that in November 1973. <laughs> so let's do some basic math real quickly. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, all right, all right. All right, buddy, all right, buddy. I just mm. used to have some good uh, stories. And one of the stories was about ex parte Milligan. It has to do with due process. And I realized after reading it that the judge did not have the authority to place me in jail as a condition of probation. So they found a technicality and got him off the hook. Because he was reading Reader's wow. Digest. <laughs> In Reader's Digest. Imagine, bro. Yeah, what is a lawyer that figured yeah. out or anything? He read Reader's Digest and went, hold on a second. <laughs> Let me call my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Let me fix this. So basically, he got out on a technicality. Wow. He's not ever mm. acknowledging what had actually happened in the case and what people are actually criticizing him for. There is no remorse in this man. He's literally mm. just kind of bragging to the public that he got away on a technicality. It's that's, what, right. that's what I was kind of thinking. It's like, it's like there was no like, made, made it like, didn't t talk about like what happened originally, what the original charges were, then like the witness or whatever was over 18, which is weird to actually point that out unless you were thinking about how, right. you know, what had happened originally. But by the way, the guy on the stand was 18, just, just so in case you were wondering yeah, for yeah. some weird During reason. the trial. Yeah. During the trial. <laughs> and the guy on the technicality. Jeez. So, yeah, the, the community looking into this definitely doesn't care about that you were, went to jail. They care about why, right? I mean, they do care, right. but I'm just saying, like, the that's, rest of the details. Yeah, that's it's the not part about that the matters. act against nature. It's about the act against a young kid. Yeah, or, or multiple, apparently, because they use plural boys in one of the, one of the clips. So. so how much further does this go? Because Moose got like a whole freaking, we're halfway through the video. <laughs> what, what, what else is in wow. here? Now there's a YouTube attorney wannabe who <laughs> thinks that uh, uh -oh. something happened 45 years is there anyone else out there who's got 45 years of a clean record and haven't uh, sneezed in public or anything? So there's a, he's calling wow. somebody out. There's a, a, law, a YouTube wannabe lawyer out there that was trying to get me. And, you know, look how, look how clean I am right now. What do you mean? I haven't done anything wrong. All right. He's like, okay. you know, who hasn't, you know, went to jail in 45 years of the of, you know what i mean like what do you mean dude not everybody goes to jail you, you go from <laughs> the, what his original charge was against a 14 year old right and then being like i haven't i haven't even sneezed in public in 45 years like is that even like a 
I don't know. It hits me as like a comparison for some reason. You did something far worse before. And here's the thing. The details like that, right? Once the case is done, all the details, no matter what, you can't like recharge him for, right? Yeah. It'd have to be something, something yeah. completely separate. Something which is crazy. Seed What's it called? Double Jeopardy? <laughs> the movie? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, like charging the someone again for the. I don't. I yeah, because I don't like, know. like, like, like uh, OJ Simpson like wrote the book after. He was, you know, the trial's over. Verdict's oh. out there. He wrote a book. What if I did it in all caps, you know? <laughs> like, like, I forgot yo, about dude, that. <laughs> can't, I mean, even if he literally comes out and writes, yeah, you know, this is what I did. It don't matter because that, that case is closed. Would it be? Well, even if he, like, admitted to it, they wouldn't be able to? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I mean, that's why the what if... You know, yeah, is in yeah, there. Yeah. That's the, well, maybe, allegedly. You know, I got you. Okay. All right. Jeez. Uh, 201.190 was an unconstitutional law. I helped get it changed. Okay. I'm done with this fucking explanation. <laughs> That's so just like, it's like, go pat yourself on the back. You helped get it changed. Great job, I guess. You got wow. yourself out of pedophilia. You know, God. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> <gasps> so now this is where we're going to get a little bit darker in the video. Let's read what? Will It versus Ooh. State together. Oh, it's getting darker? What are you? Okay. Okay. All right. So I always oh, going to go through the... Oh, oh we're going to get the details. Oh, no. Okay. Wow. Take me on the ride. Let's do it. The record shows that Appellant in November uh -oh. 73 was playing uh -oh. in a musical group volunteer to entertain the children at Child Haven oh my in Las Vegas. There he met the victim of this crime, a minor boy, and he went with this boy to a room to introduce him to the guitar. Oh reason. no. I kind of want this guy to get tased now, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, you know, tased, yeah, a, a lot. Jesus Christ. Dude, that makes me so, it makes me just so disgusting thinking about like, these kids who've been through like, traumatic, terrible things in their lives, that's why they're there at Child Haven, right? Right. And then the musical group that volunteered to entertain and like, be a, be a fun time, then, this happens uh, like several acts of oral copulation on the minor, you know, like, uh, okay. Dude, he volunteered. He went out of his way to make sure he could be there. <sighs> oh, that's so gross, dude. During the same month, Appellant visited the Eddie Lee home for boys in Clark County. Another one. There he met a minor boy, a another victim oh God. who testified wow. that while the defendant, a volunteer worker, yes, somebody that could be trusted again as a confidant, was helping us to set up for Christmas. The defendant performed an act of, again, that same oral situation on that young man. Helping us set up for Christmas. Wow, dude. All these other kids without families, they're trying to get set for Christmas and have this nice wholesome time and... Here he comes! Mm. Ooh, God. Oh, we chokes on one of those burnt sandwiches. <laughs> God. And, and the thing that makes me so mad about it is, is he's not got off because they they didn't find him guilty. They found him guilty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they were like, oh, yeah, you did it. Go to jail. And then he's like, but technically, you know, and then he got out. All right. Oh, my God. So, again, I'm only going off by what I've seen in this case document. So, I'm in the middle of, like, a drive here. I, I went out because this is such a weird situation to watch. And, uh... <laughs> like, dude, dude, dude's been going through, like, the whole court case and, like, telling, like, like trying to... They're getting, like, real technical about, like, why the case was thrown out and all that stuff. And, like, I, it's beyond me. Dude right. had to go get in his car and drive. He's like, bruh. <laughs> He's like, dude, I can't take any more of this. <laughs> he just How is he out? We go drive around here. One thing that I want wanted to really point out and really put emphasis on was he driving out that seatbelt on right now Ooh, Ooh, you better incriminating him. himself <laughs> they, they were they were part of from what i understand like foster situations right like not foster situations but like they were part of like orphanages it seems like where they were uh, this person came in to serve as sort of an instructor a music teacher somebody that had a position of power somebody that should have been trusted it makes from what i'm reading it makes you one of the worst people possible yeah so that's that's exactly what we were saying like yeah you come to these homes these orphanages are uh trying to you know centers for these these poor poor little boys and god yeah it's just that's who have already had to grow up faster than they've ever wanted to than, than that uh, yeah god god dude what okay. a, that's literally 
Literally, he's not wrong. That's got to be one of the worst predators, period. Yeah. And then the people defending it, which there are a couple of people in the comments because, you know, law of averages is going to be one f***ing freak out there in the world. If you're <laughs> defending this, what is wrong with you? <laughs> he's mad. He's mad. You should be. You should be mad because this is uh, like, like we're, we're not even at the sta like the stage of like, did he do it or anything like that? Like going back from what's been shown, tried and convicted. He even says he was convicted, you know, and and the technicality is what got him out. Like they didn't change the fact of what happened. You know what the facts were. He was just lumped under the, you know, the people who might have been done wrong, you know? Yeah. Oh, he got the coattail off of that. What a, what a. And then making a video being like, you know, not saying any of the, like, hey, you know, he was 18 and everything, you know, and then I got to help get it change, you know? And then there's some lawyer out there. I've been doing good for, 45 years, it's like, <sighs> that's all. I mean, it's just awful. Ugh. Tom has a really high opinion of himself, you know, being the extra in so many movies, <laughs> yet not ever really being the starring role, like SpongeBob, huh. where like, you see that like little shoulder? That's me. Don't call out Charlie like that, all right? He was in the Hunger Games, he's a star. All right? Oh, snap. <laughs> was he? <laughs> I don't even know if he really was. He just, he claims that one of the games are his. <laughs> so anyways, I'm getting too ahead of myself. We're going to play Some of this noise game two right points in this that really burn me. Okay, so let's listen to them together. Okay, so what we got right here right now is a very long explanation of what's happening, but there's this other channel that called uh, Feature Man, and he's playing two clips that, that, he, uh, that really stuck out to him. It's like a, an hour and 41 minute phone call that was edited down to like 30 minutes or something like that. He tried to save people and still got in trouble for it. Yeah. Right? So... And if you, if, if you deleted that video, because everyone got mad. Are we really comparing this serious wow. situation to Mr. Beast Twitter drama? <laughs> wow. That's, that is, uh... Wow. Yikes. It was illegal to be gay. It's not illegal anymore. So, oh but. my God. Okay. Uh, so and, oh, dude. Oh, God. I don't like this guy either. Illegal. Oh. It was illegal to be gay, and now so make it make it a homosexual thing, and not a not a minor. It doesn't like. Oh my God, it doesn't matter. Oh, he was fourteen like, or fifteen, uh, bro. Uh, Those two numbers don't matter because he's not eighteen. Feature Man was a grown man. Is this guy dumb? I'm so mad, dude. It, it, this is this is pretty brain dead. <laughs> this, is, this is Jesus. It wasn't really cool to be gay back then. This was not about a man being persecuted for homosexuality. You fucking moron. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it is what it <laughs> thank is. Thank you. It's just uh, thank you. Good lord, <laughs> dude. God. All right. Future man with a child fan base that probably comes out and watches him like he's grandpa or something. Should that be okay? You know, YouTube took down EDP 445 and he wasn't even officially convicted. If wow. anything, it is of my opinion that YouTube delete his channel and completely ban him because this is a dangerous, bad individual. individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, I mean, yeah, I, I agree with that. Jesus, it's like, yeah, it's like this dude should be literally, he should be registered as a sex offender. People around him in his neighborhood, everyone should know, yo, this guy's not, you know, freaking Mr. Hey, Rogers, you yeah, know, he, better be, he may volunteer to come like, you know, talk at your school or something. Be careful because who knows what's going to happen after that. God. Uh, and the, like the whole thing you said earlier is like, I, you know, haven't been in trouble. I haven't sneezed in 45 years or whatever. That's what people know about. Right. So who, right. who, who, know, who knows? Who, who knows? Maybe. I mean, uh, I got to go into this. Uh, I hope uh, to God. Not again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope. I hope he hasn't sneezed. If that's what a sneeze is, I hope he hasn't sneezed again. Ever. Yeah. yeah God, okay. dude. Oh man. All right. Well, anyway, I, I can't give this any, any more thought. Well, uh, that is. I, I, I'm, I'm glad we did this video. I'm so, I, I'm mad. But this, this something like that needs to be brought to light. That's crazy, man. Yeah. That is, like I didn't. I, I figured it was gonna be like not good. I knew it was gonna be not good. You know, like predatory actions and everything like that. But I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Holy crap. Anyway.
Uh, well, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Stay tuned, my friends. We'll see you guys next time. If you have a good day, bye. Oh my God, that reminds me. I am subscribed to Feature Man. <laughs> nope. No nope. longer. Nope.